Okay, I am back. So I actually invested in something just now called Yggdrasil. I guess it's named after the dragon from World of Warcraft uh, Finance. Uh, it's a it's actually a tomb fork on Binance Smart Chain. So I haven't really covered too many of those uh, that I'm aware of. And it's definitely going to be the first time for me, I think, on my channel. So, uh, so as always, there's always a test, right? You know, give it a few days and then I'll go live with it, right? Put a video up. But that being said, they already renounced a lot of contracts, so they could go on Yield Wolf pretty quick, too. So that's why I'm just mentioning it to you now. I put in 100 bucks. I actually sold a little bit of my Titano reserves to come out with 100 bucks. And then I went into the share BUSD liquidity pool for it. It's paying right now 50%. So very, very lucrative, very interesting, and more importantly, it's actually tied to Binance dollar. So that's why I'm very excited. That's why I just immediately bought into that shit, all right? So we have the contract announcements, and of course, the Elite Discord brought up the project for us. So I was like, okay, you know, it's like, all right, going into that. All right, so I'll give it a test, but in case for some of you uh, more advanced viewers, you can go check it out. In fact, I'll just show you the link. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, uh, over here, and this, and it's on Binance Smart Chain, so obviously I'm not going to connect to this, but you can look at it, it's yg.money, and then this is their homepage. I mean, obviously there's not much to look at, and they have very few socials, but again, they do look pretty legit so far, but again, as always, it's a little over, it's over peg, 2.5. But what made me really attracted to this was both it's pegged to basically this is going to be just going to attempt to be the great finance of Binance Smart Chain. It's pretty low, even though it's still two and a half above peg. The shares are really, really cheap. I was like, dude, I have to get in. All right. And then oh, great. All right. I guess I will have to switch the network here. All right. And then look at this. All right. Forty nine point eight percent. And this is the base tokens is 35.4%. So you can check that out if you want. But obviously we're talking about Magic Finance with a K. So I got to swap back into, I think, Phantom, right? Connect, connect. Uh, what is this on? Yeah, it's on, yeah, it's what I thought. Oh, okay, hold on. I got I to gotta switch back to uh, Phantom here. I actually have to add Polygon to this thing too. Okay. Uh, all right, so that being said, you know, nice little quick sneak peek, right? But I already went into it, right? So it, it, it really looks pretty good. But as always, could be, it could, there could still be a rug pull, right? It's obviously a very brand new project. Genesis just ended. But on their hand, you know, I liked all, all the other factors that I saw. And, of course, I mean, they're, they, they only have Discord, right? That technically is a red flag for a rug pull, right? But let's see, we'll, we'll see what happens with your drafts. I'll, I'll, I'll do the video on it. Of course, in a few days. I want to give it some time. But in the meantime, I'm going to farm, hopefully, some of that sweet, sweet cash. And, of course, hopefully it's not a honeypot where they lock you in. <laughs> where you stake in, but you can't stake out, right? You know, you, you check in in the motel, but no one checks out, right? You know, that you know, like those old scary movies, I guess. All right. So this clown, Magic Finance, is a tomb fork on Phantom, of course. And blah, blah, blah. And in fact, I actually didn't notice this before. I actually had to go in their doc. I actually just went straight into their docs to look for it. They actually said their ownership has been renounced a long time ago. Now, this interesting project has very low uh, numbers, even though the TVL is basically a million. So very good sign. And the pay, it's right at pay. So the, the, so the metrics look very good. That's why I bought into it. Uh, however, there's... There's still a lot of price pressure on this, so I don't actually know what's wrong with it, but there clearly is something wrong with it, because when I looked at the project, right, they've been out for a while, so that's a very good sign. Okay, here's their chart. At one point, the base token was very low. You can see down here is about 15, 16 cents. So something happened, and then they obviously did, the devs did some kind of change. You can see this thing pop off. And then, of course, it popped off too much, and you have your, your standard correction and consolidation, and now we're pretty much back at PEG. So I like that a lot. It shows resilience of the devs, resilience of the community. They had a bunch of problems of some kind, and then they fixed it. And more importantly, it's still using the same token. So I know 
It's not, it's not like what happened with Spectre Finance where the dev fucked up and then the whole project instantly died because, you know, he screwed up. And, it, and they even tried pinning a message that said, you can't blame the devs because we're just trying to boost it. Yeah, you can fucking blame the devs because you're the one that's administering everything, right? Because every single fork I've been into, you know, ha hasn't done what Spectre Finance did. So, yeah. So, uh, so the, believe it or not, that actually is technically a risk that we might have to actually bring up. But, I mean, it's just so rare, thank God, that maybe I don't have to mention it. But as always, that's why I say be careful when aping in this shit, all right? Just do half a percent to one percent of your money. No, that's not a lot, but, I mean, when you're making crazy yields... Jesus, really? You. Okay. I think they've also changed their graphics, because I don't remember any of this being here before. So they have actually really nice graphics here. Nice artist, too. So, yeah, because, again, you just never really know, right? Because developer error actually is a risk I have to take into consideration now, which makes me a little more paranoid, right? Because, like, I don't understand how you can boost rewards and then fuck up the whole project. And then, I don't, I don't understand how that even works, like... I mean, actually, now that I think about it, maybe it was a scam rug pull, but he passed it off as a developer error. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Because that's what Merlin Token did last year. God, I can't believe that was last year. So anyway, everything uh, is very well priced, right? We see bottom, like everything bottom out, right? And at the same time period, the shares was as low as $4.60. So whatever the hell happened... Must have caused it to basically just fuck up the whole thing. And then, of course, this thing shot way too high in price, went up to 545, and now it's back down to Earth, right? And you can see the standard pump and dump and correction and then consolidation, right? Uh, and then, of course, here's a list of all their renounced ownerships. So they renounced pretty much the base tokens and the bond. They have not changed the board. They still control the, I guess, reward pool. Actually, I think you always control the reward pool. And, of course, the boardroom, which I'm totally okay with because, like, remember, Zilla Finance had to constantly, and Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb, constantly had to do all this stupid shit because they renounced ownership of, like, the boardroom or whatever and was fucking everything up. So, and again, this is enough for me, right? You, don't, you just need to renounce a couple of things, and Yield Wolf only requires, like, just the base token to be renounced. That's all they really require. They don't even, they don't, as of right now, they don't really ask for the share token to be renounced. So, you know, I'm happy uh, auto farming this on. Oh, I forgot to bring up the Yield Wolf. Right? I'm pretty sure it's on Yield Yeah, it should be on Yield Wolf because that's probably how I found it. Um, ah. All right. So we want to go into Phantom and do. Oops. And we just want to do Phantom. And then I think it should just be Magic with a K. Yep, here we go. So I got to click one of these clowns. So I can get the URL. But, oh, actually it tells me the URL right up here. Good. So I don't have to wait on this slow app. I don't know why this site is so slow on Brave. I, I don't know. Okay. All right. So I didn't even look at the yields, but... I just simply bought because this thing was basically at peg and very cheap. And I saw the charts and I was like, okay. Right, this tells me everything I need to know, right? I already said it. Resilience, basically. And fight back, right? I want to see people fighting back when shit hits the fan. Because that's how I know, you know, these people are winners, right? Because you only lose when you give up, right? And we got a lot of quitters out there, right? Because... You know, they can't handle, like, you know, a little bit of FUD, right? And that's why everyone's dumping their shit, right? And, and even rich, uh, some rich hedge funds have dumped everything, right? And and then, I don't even want to recommend that asshole's Twitter because he's just an asshole. He's just, he's got, like, 400, 500,000 followers on Twitter. And all he does is just say, Bitcoin going to zero. It's like, it's, it's just so fuddy and negative. I just don't like that. Right, and if you listen to people like that, yeah, you're just gonna lose all your money at some point, cause you, you, cause that negativity just makes you not only a bigger asshole in the bad kind of way, but you're just gonna lose more money, right? 
You know, Satan is of anger and fear. Why would you do the same exact thing as him, right? He becomes your, he's your daddy, and he fucks up your life, right? But on the other hand, God is the opposite of that. So he's like, oh yeah, I'm just big chilling, yeah, whatever, <laughs> right? So which do you, which person would you prefer to hang out with, right? The asshole in a bad way, or the nice guy that's like, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, come in, yeah, yeah, right. all right. Okay, so so that's pretty much why I bought this. Now, there's obviously some kind of, still has some problems, right? I happen to absolutely have no idea what they are, and I actually don't care to find out because I've seen enough for me personally. You can dig in if you want. But from what I can tell, everything looks, looks pretty solid and relatively safe. And again, they've been out since January 23rd. So they're coming up. So in about four days... They're going to come up on the 30-day mark for a Tomb Fork. So this is like perfect timing, right? So let's see. Here's their boardroom, 2446. So what is... So here are their, sh uh, their liquidity pools. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, they have the duels. Oh, shit. Am I in the duel magic M-share? Oh man, did I fuck up? Hold on. I'm actually gonna go into my Yield Wolf on Chrome. Okay, I need to. Uh, I don't even know what he's asking. Okay, so I need to go into Yield Wolf. I need to look at. Ah. Uh... Great. So I wound up doing FTM M Share and FTM Magic. Great, so I wound up du duplicating my shit. And not surprisingly... Yeah, not surprising. Wait. Oh, okay. So it actually... Yeah, so I can probably leave it the way that I have it. But I really would just prefer this. Alright, whatever. I mean, the APR is actually kind of balanced out. Right, because I'm getting more from FTMM share... Which, bout, which counteracts the fact that FTM Magic, base token, is a lot lower. And I guess if you average this shit out, you know, I should approximately get something around 3.08. Uh, yeah, so I probably, yes, yeah, so I probably did this before I realized I should do the, 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 the double token liquidity pairs. Because that's my preferred, that's my preferred method now. And of course, I stay away from single, single uh, stakes because... Yeah, no impermanent loss, but that doesn't really matter. You're just you're already making so much money in terms of APY, like, you know, it does not justify the fact that you're basically losing fifty percent or more returns by doing single stake. Right? You you know, the profit both is on the capital gains, but also the cash flow, right? Because this is right, this is a this is an auto compounder. So you put in a hundred bucks. You know, assuming everything does okay and still relatively stable, after like, you know, what, a couple of months, a month, you know, that hundred bucks, you know, becomes a lot more money than that, right? You know, I don't feel like doing the math, but I mean, look, none of us are going to be a, a central banker, right? They'll never let us in. This is the closest thing you have to that as of right now to become a central banker. Your own, like Gregory Manorino always says, become your own central bank, right? Uh, unfortunately, I'm doing the, this video now, so I can't just drop what I'm doing and then change out my liquidity pools because I really don't want to. All right, but I mean, I don't know. There's a part of it is like, you know, you got to change it out, but man, that's just saying, so whatever. Okay, so yeah, and again, very healthy TVL. In fact, it just went up a little bit. Now it's a little bit above 1 mil. All right, so there's one more thing I want to check. So you have a regular APR of 761 for the base token. You have the M share 1021, okay. And the double liquidity pool is 1000 not 10%. Oh, that's actually pretty funny. Look at look at that icon. You have two doggies there. Okay. Well, yeah, ever since I started carrying my baseball bat with me, like dogs have stopped barking and yelling and growling at me. And I think I realized why so many dogs were hostile to me. And part of it, I think, was I had soy sauce on, like, one of my shirts at the time. Because, you know, I just Chinese New Year and whatever. So I decided to change out the shirt because, you know, 
like I just wear the same shirt for like you know I usually, I usually walk around the apartment without my shirt on but which is why I can keep wearing the same shirt over and over again because I'm not actually wearing it all the time it's actually very little and I think what was happening was the dogs thought I was actually an animal or a prey because they could smell food technically and they were just like you know because of evolution or whatever or you know how God made dogs because dogs are technically predator animals so they just thought I was like a giant deer or pig and wanted to like, you know, bite me because like, yeah, you're, you're prey, you know, master hungry, you know, I bite you, right? That kind of thing. So I, I think it's like, yeah, even a basset hound, which is like the most docile dog, was like getting angry at me. It's like wanted to bite you. You should have seen the look on the, on the basset. It was like, ah, like his, his eyes were like wide open. It's like showing his teeth. It's like, <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, between people wanting to kill us Asians or beat us up or push us off into the subway tracks with an oncoming train, or dogs yelling at me, I was like, yeah, you know, I need weapons, right? You know, I get my body armor on, like, Monday, so it's like, you know, I'm, I'm fucking prepared, you know? People want to take me down, you know, they're going down with me, right? You know, that kind of thing. So... Yeah, but yeah, I haven't had any problems since then. I think I, I think some dogs still kind of stare at me though, right? They don't bark or growl or whatever at me, but you know, just in case, you know, I got I, I have my hand on the bat all the time, right? It's in my duffel bag, so I don't scare people, right? But yeah, first world problems, right? Okay, so man, I'm really fixated on this Magic M share. I, I really want to change out my shit. Because I think technically I'll make a little bit more money. Because if you average out, assuming you equal money in both of these pools, M, FTM M share and FTM Magic. Let me see. If, yeah, I'm actually making less money. I have to change. Ugh, God, I have to change this out. I gotta go into this. Because I, I always want all the tokens anyway. All right. So that being said, I think that's pretty much it. There's not really much more to say. Yeah. Okay, so the board room here is actually much higher than all the other liquidity pools. So that means they're printing a lot of magics. So normally I would be like, eh. But with that being said, I guess I'm kind of okay with it because it is forcing this magic token to be pretty much at peg. All right, because again, I don't like it when we don't. It's kind of like the ten-year yield, right, for U.S. Treasury bonds. I don't want, like Gregory Manorino says, he doesn't like it when it's too high and when it's too low, right? It's just like the Goldilocks tale, all right? Too hot, too cold, but just right. So basically, this is just right, right? It's right at the peg. So still, I'm a little weary of this. Let me see if I can kind of highlight. I don't know. I, I don't know why Brave has just so many effing problems there. I'm trying to see if I can highlight this thing. Yeah. Because I highlight it so that it gets to the text underneath. And then I do right click so it says search Google for M share stake 3. Yeah. Because that's, that's what I'm looking for. What is the number? So right now, 3,245.242 M shares are staked into the boardroom. Which is about 60%, 58, 59% of the total circulating supply. Because I'm, I'm assuming the rest of this is basically in the liquidity pool or whatever. Okay. All right. So this is going to actually be printing a lot of magic tokens. So that's probably the only downside to this. Aside from whatever else is causing, you know, maybe a little bit of FUD. But for the most part, it looks pretty, it looks pretty stable. I'm very happy of seeing this. And I'm basically bought in quite well at a bottom after hitting an all-time new high or back to being all time back to being a high and then you can see the consolidation pattern right on both of these papegas like yeah it's like I, I looked at it like yo I'm gonna put in a hundred I'm gonna put in money I think I'm pretty sure there's a I don't know how much money I put in it's like 78 to 100 bucks for each so I have two of them now and I'm going to combine them all into the, you know, the Magic M share LP, right? So, yeah. All right, well, I'll do it right. I'm actually going to do it right after this. So, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Looks pretty good. Just as always, there's some kind of little FUD risk. But I think they'll do all. They're, they're doing pretty well, all right? Because whatever, whatever was causing this, like, this project is dying. That's literally what this price is telling you. And then shoots right up. I mean, they fixed whatever the problem was. So, 
and they endured all the FUD and all the people panicking and crying and screaming and, I guess, threatening the dev for fucking it up. Hey, you know, this project gets my money, right? So, up to you. And as always, you know, well, yeah, not financial advice, quote unquote, but always, always, uh, you know, just be careful with how much you put into any project, right? Especially because we're doing so many of these. So, all right. I'll see you in the next video. It will be... Okay. Oh, I could delete based finance because I just did that video. Uh, we could do... I could do my chicken farm or platinum finance. The problem is platinum finance is not on Yield Wolf. It just has stupid beluga, right? I don't know why anyone says beluga is an auto compounder. So far, it's not working for me. But, you know, I wrote down some numbers. I'm going to give it a little more time. And I'm just going to try and see... Maybe it just auto compounds very slowly, which might make sense because there's no community compound function. Like Beluga just sucks. I hate it. But they did allow whatever to just be listed there. So it's better than nothing, right? Uh, yeah. So you know what? I think I'll do my chicken farm because that also is kind of cheap as well. So by the time you watch the video, you, you know, you decide to buy into that, you know, you're, you're, whatchamacallit. <laughs> You're more likely to buy it at the bottom, all right? Because that's all. Because I like to hold these things, which is obviously very dangerous in crypto. Because you know how it goes up and down a lot, or you know, mo mostly just go down a lot. So the best way to mitigate that, if I insist on holding, which I do, right? Because I insist on cash flow and holding. You know, because the money is made over time. It's not, you know, pump and dump and swing trading. Though some people could do it for real then. If I wanted to do that, I could do it too. But it's just too much energy. So, you know, I want to buy at the bottom. That's the best way to mitigate that risk. So, all right. Very well. I'll see you next video. This one's a lot shorter. Yep, 22 minutes. Yeah, because I already did my rambling in the first video. And yeah, like, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the deal. All right. Thanks.